What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And today to bring you guys a quick in-depth review of the all new OtterBox Strata series case for the iPhone 6. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the iPhone and give you guys my quick in-depth review. The Otterbox Strata series case is a new series of cases that's a little bit of a departure than your standard Otterbox case that we all know. The case does come in a bit of a more premium packaging than your standard Otterbox case. Pops open like so. And the first and only thing we're introduced with of course is the case itself. The new case is one of Otterbox's first folio cell cases available for the iPhone 6 and also one of the first cases that uses genuine leather material. To install this onto the iPhone, it's pretty simple. Just grab the case here, go volume button side first, and snap it into place. And you're ready to go. Generally, folio style cases for the iPhone 6 are, for me, kind of unappealing. They're big, they're bulky, they leave spaces like on the top and the bottom exposed. Um, here's a couple examples that are viewed from the past. And you guys can see here, although they're nice cases, they're not the most uh, practical thing to use. The new Otterbox Strata series case kind of takes a departure from your standard folio saw case, giving a full protective case and a very slim and appealing design. In terms of the design of the case, it's basically an Italian leather folio design combined with Otterbox protection into one seamless, timeless case. The case portion here features a hybrid TPU and polycarbonate fuse design, giving you the ultimate protective case, combining the best of both worlds with the shock absorbing properties of TPU and rubber, as well as the polycarbonate material that gives a structure and holds the entire case together. Anyways, taking a quick overview of the case, starting off with the top here, we do have the leather folio flap here it is made of genuine italian leather very thin as well yet still durable so it doesn't add a whole lot of bulk to the case itself it's also stitching that surrounds the entire folio flap here as well as some in the center for more of an authentic look the flap does secure in place via a magnet here and lastly on the top here you do have a cutout for the earphones so if you want to make a call or answer a call you can do that uh, without having to open the folio flap. Moving on to the inside here the interior is lined with a super soft microfiber lined material. In addition there's also a built in card slot here which is pretty convenient if you have something that you always use all the time like a bus pass or student card. Moving on to the case portion here we do have a pretty much full size case protection around the top sides bottoms back uh, something you don't see too often with folio style cases. It does lip around the top bezel here so it does give you a bit of top protection as well in case you're holding your phone like this and accidentally drop it so you do get an excellent amount of lay on table design on the left side of the case here we do have covers for the volume rockers and you still get a nice tactile feedback when you press on them in addition to a cutout for the vibrate and ringer switch and for those of you wondering, you can still access the volume buttons by closing the folio flap here. And as you guys can see, there's still indentations here for you to access the volume keys with the folio flap on. Moving on to the other side of the case here, we do have a cover for the power button as well. In addition to the OtterBox magnet here that keeps the flap closed with the OtterBox logo engraved in it. On the bottom of the case here, we do have three individual cutouts for the speakerphone, microphone, and headphone jack, as well as the lightning port. Finally, on the back of the case here, the leather does surround the majority of the back here as well. A cutout for the camera flash and secondary microphone. And for those of you wondering, you can turn the flap over and it does secure via magnets on the back as well so it doesn't flop around. Overall guys, the first impressions on the new Otterbox Strata series case for the iPhone 6 is pretty positive. It's a very well designed case, giving you that Italian leather look combined with Otterbox's well known protection. Unlike some of the other folio style cases I reviewed in the past, the Strata series case from Otterbox isn't too bulky, which is one of the things I like about this case, while still giving you protection all around your iPhone like a standard case would. In terms of the cons or things I don't like about the case, with a retail price of for around $50, it is a little bit above the average price for a standard case. However, because this is a more premium end of cases that Arbox is introducing, coupled with the Italian genuine leather used with this case, it does justify the price just a little bit. If you're just looking for a really well protected case for your iPhone 6, then I do recommend Arbox's Symmetry case, my favorite line of cases that Arbox has. It's much more affordable, simple to use, and gives you the same protection minus a folio flap as the Strata series case. In conclusion guys, if you're looking for a leather folio case for your iPhone 6 without adding a whole lot of bulk to the phone, you definitely can't go wrong with the Strata series case from Otterbox. As always, I have to thank the people at Mobile Fun for shooting this out for view. And if you want to pick up the specific case, link in the description below there onto their website where you can check out this case and many others that they offer. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and that's my quick in-depth review of the Otterbox Strata series case for the iPhone 6.